speed, don't you? Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And Rudolph has it left side. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give him a chance to... And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Melvin Gordon, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Super tall. 26 yards on the pick up there. That's good for a Jets first down. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. They run the counter to Ivory. Chris Ivory off to the races. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Chris Ivory, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jets have once again taken the lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Come on, let's go! Watch that! Gordon. And some space here. And a cutback, right sideline. It's a big play there for the Chiefs. 61 yards. I guess that's what happens when you give the current NFL rushing leader that much room. And when you do, all you're doing is solidifying his standing at the top of the leaderboard. He's going to continue to get more and more yards. Good luck trying to chase him down. So the run gets him the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this one hauled in by Rudolph. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. They come up in an offset eye. Back to throw. This will be caught at about the five. 
And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Come on, let's go! From the four-yard line, it's first and goal now. They run it here with Gordon. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They come out with one back and three tight ends. They'll try and punch it in. Gordon, call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They'll look to throw on third and goal. 